I was contacted by a company called Orico today. They sell a lot of stuff on Amazon Canada and Amazon USA. I was actually looking at this specific item as an option for me. I just picked up a PlayStation 5 a couple days ago. One of the cool things about PlayStation 5s is that you can use external enclosures. You know, something like this, you can load PlayStation 4 games directly off of that drive. So you're gonna want something that's pretty quick. So something like this that you can pick up for really cheap is an awesome solution because for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, which I have as well, Xbox Series S, which I have as well, you can load a lot of games directly off of this, or you can store your games on here and then rapidly pull them off rather than having to go through the headache every single time you wanted to get a game of download. So that's what I'm gonna use it for. However, if I like it, I'm probably gonna pick up another one and use it for my computers as well. I do a lot of video editing, obviously, sometimes on my laptop, sometimes on my desktop. I need to move those files back and forth between my two computers and using something like this, which I have been doing, you know, these little, you know, USBs, traditional USBs, these are slow, I mean, Maybe you'll get 150 to 200 megabytes a second, even out of a good one like this. But when you start using big files, big video files, it's brutal. Like it'll take, it'll take like 30 minutes to move a few video files onto something like this. And it drives me insane. Uh, so something like this is gonna be perfect. If I can get, you know, a thousand megabytes a second out of a decent M.2 drive, move those files over rapidly in like a minute, maybe two at most, move them between my desktop and my laptop, that dramatically streamlines my workflow. So here's the item here. Um, these, like I said, you can get on Amazon.ca. You can get them on Amazon uh, USA. I'm sure you can get them on like Amazon, you know, UK and well, um, but I've seen the specific drive on Amazon Canada and I'll leave the links below to the, uh, how to get this on Amazon specifically. Um, they, of course you can, you know, they have their website too, but I'll just leave the Amazon links as well. So you can see there's multiple colors. Um, looks like I got the black one um, and it's a 10 gigabit. Um, so you should get about a thousand megabytes a second. I expect it to be fairly simple and straightforward, which is good. You know, you don't want complicated things like this. So accessories here. Uh, so it's USB A to USB C. Things are a little heat shield and uh, the little pad, thermal pad. Okay. So a light that'll probably tell you when it's on. And uh, you know, this is plastic here. This is metal, which is good because it'll help get the heat off of the system. There's an arrow here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so that's the locking mechanism. So you basically just uh, pop that off and then you can slide it out. It's metal. So that's metal, like I said. So that'll help just with general heat. Uh, and then this is plastic. So the weight isn't too bad, it's pretty light. And that's the USB-C there and your NVMe slot. And it looks like it supports multiple lengths. So yeah, 2280, 224030, etc. Okay, so this should be a pretty straightforward setup. I will put on the thermal pad. Okay, so we got the thermal pad on there. It's about the same length as the whole thing, so it just kind of sits on and connects, you can see there. Good contact, if you can see it on my camera, as expected. Pop it in, let's see. Then Okay, that's pretty easy. Done, basically. Uh, so it looks like it's nice and snug. It's not gonna wobble. Looks good. I mean, like I said, straight. These things are, ideally, they're straightforward. And this one looks like it's straightforward. They have multiple options on their website here. So you can see here, there's a USB-C to A. This is the model they gave me. This is perfect for your consoles. If you're using a PlayStation 5, if you're using PlayStation 4, if you're using a Series X, Series S, etc. This is the model you want here. This is the model they sent me. The reason is because this one has, as you can see here, the uh, USB-A cable, which is what your console is going to use. It doesn't use USB-C, it uses USB-A. So that's the model you want there. If you're using it with your PC or your Mac though, get this model here, the, uh, you know, whichever color, but USB-C to C, because in theory, it'll run faster. So let's pan back over to my computer and we'll test out USB-C to USB-C, which is, you know, like I said, is ideally what you want for a computer. So we'll stop the test. We will eject the drive. So for me, this is a perfect device because I'm gonna be using this with my PlayStation 5 or my Series X, and they use USB-A. They don't use USB-C. So this goes in the back of my NVMe enclosure that they just sent me, and this goes in the back of my PlayStation 5. However, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna plug in a USB-C to C. Okay, so now I have my USB-C to C variant. Um, so, you know, if you're buying this and using it only on your Mac or on your PC, your laptop, whatever, you're gonna to wanna to get this one, USB-C to C. 
and uh, should run quicker. So we'll go like that there, plug it in over here. There we go. Obviously it's gonna pop up right away. So now we're running USB C to C, if you can see that. C to C. So like I said, if you're buying this for the Mac or the PC, get this model here, the USB C to C. In theory, it's gonna run much quicker. And exactly as expected, 962 reads, specific, exactly to spec, 10 gigabit. You know, you're not gonna get faster. That is impossible. No matter how fast your drive is and has nothing to do with this enclosure, it has to do with USB standard cables and your ports. I'm running this off a 10 gigabit port. This is a 10 gigabit cable. It's exactly as you'd want for speed. So, so if you're using you know, this for moving large files rather than using you know, a stupid USB key or something like that, um, you're gonna get this model here. You can load up really large files. It'll be nice and quick, but you can see there, I mean, it's running perfectly. So you can see here, uh, you know, I'm not gonna run this whole test all the way through, but this is perfectly to spec, 10 gigabit uh, cables and 10 gigabit ports. So this is a 10 gigabit port with a 10 gigabit cable. That's about what you get. Let's test it out. You know, we'll just move one of my videos. This is my Jedi Survivor video. Let's go like that and uh, I don't know. And I'll just throw it in my uh, documents here, whatever. And yeah, like that was really fast. Okay, and here we are on my Mac. Uh, you can see there in my, sorry for mess of cables, but we got the drive there and it's plugged into the back of the Mac and we're on the Mac. So let's test it out. So what I'm gonna do here is uh, I'm gonna take all of these. This is gonna be in a massive amount of data, like many, many gigabytes of data here. And I'm gonna throw it on my desktop. Oh, this is a lot of data and we'll just see. So 80, oh, that's really fast. Okay, so 81 gigabytes. If you can see this, make sure I have the right angle here. 81 gigabytes, focus, and uh, it's like a minute, if that. So we're just absolutely ripping here. Yeah, it's the same, you know, 850 megabytes a second, whatever. This should be around 900 or so on the read, yeah. So yeah, it's exactly as you expect. Um, the device works perfect. It's not disconnecting. I just moved 80 gigabytes. It's just gonna keep going. Uh, so I ran 80, moved 80 gigabytes. There was no interruption on it, which is what you want. If it's gonna work like that, it's gonna be perfect, right? So my review, I mean, is pretty obvious. It works exactly as intended. It's, uh, it's a good device. You get your little light, it's nice and light. Um, you know, you get some metal here. It feels pretty premium, to be honest. Um, it's really easy to load up. Some of these things can be a pain in the butt to really get your drive in. This was actually super easy. Like I said, you just slide it out, slide it in. One of the nice things that, like, I, that I actually like about this, I'm going to bring in another drive. But this is another brand here. From a different company and i've actually had some issues with it the reason is and it loads up fine no issues there's the thermal pad on here and it runs right into the metal base of it so this thing gets super hot like to the point of you can't have this sitting on your lap you'll be like sweating and it's actually irritating um it'll like it won't burn your skin but it's hot super hot so I actually you know this one's kind of annoying besides that one of the things i like about this is you have this you know recessed in here you have the nvme drive in there you have the heat shield so all the temperature is going to go in here and that'll effectively cool your drive you're not going to have any heat issues and then the actual outside of the device here feels nice and cool um, so you don't get a lot of heat transfer there so if you're going to set this on your lap or something um, it doesn't feel super hot because yeah i mean it works exactly as anticipated um, the price on these is pretty solid so i mean yeah i definitely recommend it works as anticipated easy to load up good build quality metal, um, you know, nice and slim, and uh, no connectivity issues. I moved a lot of data without any problems, so there you go. I mean, if you're looking for one, why not give this a try?